Yeah, 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 yeah. Never go to the wrong congregation. Why? Why, 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 why? That's a skill I'm earned, pay God, so. <laughs> Ah, um, people, big up and respect dance as skill of the year again. See, so that video shows law enforcers from within the country of Jamaica seizing vendors' goods. And when I said vendors, I'm not talking about one vendor, I'm talking about vendors' goods. You see, yeah, um, you know, the struggle really tough, my people, you know, survival of the fittest. You see, yeah, but I guess all that we have one struggle and so forth, but you know. Mm. Anyways, my people, big up and respect to each and everyone. Dance our skill of the year again. So, I'm just making you know about some things that happen on social media and happen within the country of Jamaica, alright? Now, I got the understanding that dance our artist who goes by the name of Billy Man has denied media reports from out of Ghana that he was ever tested positive for COVID 19 or break any protocols when it comes down to COVID 19. You see what I say? Now, I got this understanding according to some things that I read in a news article and according to tweets that have been made on social media and those tweets are said to be from Beanie Man himself. See? And in at least one of those tweets, I saw pictures and to my understanding, those pictures are believed to be some form of proof to the things that Beanie Man said. See me? Yeah. Um, so, for you to get a better understanding, viewers and subscribers, I'm going to read from one of those tweets so that you can... You know, have an understanding about uh, this whole situation that involves being man. Now, listen now, my people. See? So, in one of those tweets, it says, Me confuse YF emojis, hashtag update. To my fans who are genuinely reaching out, I have no COVID. Never caught COVID before. Tested negative for COVID. Been traveling for past, well, uh, let me repeat that, been traveling for the past six months, COVID free, fully vaccinated. I guess someone wants me to have COVID on a weird YF emojis again. You see, so viewers and subscribers, sometimes when you hear certain allegations on social media, don't be too quick to believe and don't be quick to judge. You see, I say sometimes it's best to hear from the person, him or herself, what's going on, and Everyone have a right to speculate all they want or go to an opinion. But we just have to give you the best of advice. It's not too have a good thing to just believe every little thing in here. You see me? But anyways, my people, you can let me know what to think about the situation. I'm going to move on to another topic. Now, I got the understanding that a female accused a female who goes by the name of Erica, the landlord on social media, of spitting on her and her child. Yes, according to some things that I heard a female said in a video that had been posted on social media, I got the understanding that the female accused a female who goes by the name of Erica the Landlord on social media of spitting on her and her child. Now, some persons might say spot. You see me? Yeah. Some, some persons. You see me? But they don't know Jamaicans do them thing. You see? Yeah. Anyways, um, According to a video that had been posted on social media, I got the understanding that the female who goes by the name of Erica the Landlord on social media said that the female is telling lies on her. See? And for you to get a better understanding, I'm going to post just a piece of a video clip to you, my viewers and subscribers, and make you hear a little bit of some of the things that Erica Landlord said in a video. Listen to this. Observe. Hearing of the video, I'm gonna part them with them pick out. Go watch the video when the girl said she spit for me, pit and the little, little boy said she didn't spit for me. I said, Happy nice. I'm gonna go watch the video, no man. A piece, piece, on her take out, you know. All right, now, my people, you didn't hear the things that Erica the landlord said in that piece of video about the female and her child? Hmm? You didn't hear the things that she said? All right, now, my people, I am going to present to you a piece of a video that's from a video. That shows the female who accused Erica of spitting on her and her child. Now listen to this piece of the video carefully. Listen carefully. Observe. Listen. Let me care again. You know, say she's sick. She's sick, you know. Because nobody knows see this woman and the woman spit for me, my son. Erica, just spit. Erica, people. 
America, the landlord, just pass me and my son. I spit. All right, my people. I heard a sound that got toot. Me don't know about nobody else. Me hear a sound like that. You see what I say? Yes, me hear a sound like that. And here's the thing now, viewers and subscribers. You see me? Did you hear what the child said in that piece of video that I just presented to you? Did you hear? Now, I don't want to say certain things in this video and I'm wrong, you know. So, I will leave my comment or comments in the comment section of this video to let you know what I heard. You see me, I say? Yeah, me can be right, me can be wrong, but me I'm not telling in the comment section what I hear. You see me, I say? So, viewers and subscribers, tell me who you think is telling the truth from who you think is telling lies. You see me, I say? Yeah, I tell me who you think was telling truth from who you think was telling lies. You understand? And I'm going to move on to another topic. Now, I got information that a man who attempted to rob a Scotia bank that is located within the parish of St. James, that's within the country of Jamaica, had been shot and killed by a security guard at the location. Now, the incident happened today, that's the 29th of December, the year 2021. And according to some things that I read in a news article, it is said that the man was armed with a knife who attempted to rob the bank. See? Yeah, it is said that the man was armed with a knife and the man also held the knife at a teller's neck after the man entered the bank in a version subscriber, doesn't it? Yeah, I also saw a video circulating on social media that shows some of the things that happened during the attempted robbery. According to the same news article that I read in a version subscribers, it is said that during the incident, the bank's security alarm was triggered and that alerted a security company and it is said that the same man who attempted to rob the Scotia Bank subsequently attempted to escape on foot but was cornered at the entrance of the business establishment and he ran back inside the bank. It is said that he was chased and he allegedly attacked the bank's security team and was shot. It is said that the injured man was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. See? Now, according to a news article, it is said that the deceased is yet to be identified by the police. You see? Yeah, it is said that the deceased is yet to be identified by the police. And um, I guess I'll just have to go left that in the viewers and subscribers. But, and I real do. See? This sound a weird, though. Yeah, it's so a weird. So, viewers and subscribers, I also hear other things about the same man who had been shot and killed by the security guard. Yeah, I also heard other things, but I don't want to say it in this video. So, I might do another video about that person because I heard something about that same man and I'm not sure if those information are accurate, alright? So, maybe we do an update about that person. And I'm going to leave it right there, viewers and subscribers. So, until the next time, if you're new to my channel, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button. My name is Dan Saskiller. I'm going to big up on yourself. You see it? Hey, my you, you know where I watch? Dan Saskiller!